the way, uh, St George's College from Weybridge. What a final. David, have they just shown why they're in the final? They have. They wowed us last week. They've wowed us again. That was, that was a remarkable arrangement and a remarkable execution. These guys have opened this. They've raised a bar. They've raised a standard. And if the competition is going to be this high, we are in for an amazing three performances. Uh, Susie, you're scribbling away. Yes, I am. Well, I'm trying to put into words what, what, what is spinning around in my head. As David says, um, the very technical demands of the arrangement were matched um, more than ably by your performance. The tenors, for example, when you're going into the high notes, you really kept that consistency of tone and quality of singing all the way through. The basses, when you were that very difficult, fast rising scale, every note was centred throughout. For me, there wasn't a weak uh, spot in it. I thought it was just marvellous. Thank you. Wonderful. Uh, Russell, they've got great support here as well, uh, out there in the crowd. That's got to help, so, hasn't it? Yeah, it definitely helps. <laughs> <laughs> what the, did you think of the gang? What's the collective term for genius? Yeah. Genii. That was genii. <laughs> you were absolutely <laughs> amazing. The judges, thank you very much. And thank you, St George's. We'd already sung before in the semi-final, so it wasn't a new experience, but the bar was just so much higher, it was just so much more pressure. The music department at St George's is just a big family, so if we win it'll be like a family wedding. I hope they've communicated to the audience just how much they want this, just how much they need this now, and how good they are. Our judges have retired to come to a decision about our senior choir performances. As they do so, here's a reminder of their inspirational songs. In voice quality terms, they're peerless. I know many professional choirs who Indeed. couldn't feel not. safe with that. 
I couldn't actually even at that time think of anything negative to say. The director clearly has an immense grasp on technical issues of singing. Well, a decision has been made and our choirs wait nervously for the outcome. Russell is kindly going to present the trophy to our winning senior choir. But before we announce the winner, um, David, ten years this competition's been going. Um, the standard this year has been amazing, hasn't it? The standard has been incredible. We had three impeccable choirs. They were absolutely fantastic. And I want to commend both them and their leaders for giving us three wonderful performances. OK, judges, none of us can wait any longer. Can you announce the winner for us, please, Susie? The Songs of Praise Senior School Choir of the Year for 2012 is... St George's. <laughs> to ask you, um, have you ever seen your choir mistress so excited? No, no. <laughs> How do you feel? What does it mean for you to win this? It's a dream come true. It's just indescribable, really. It's amazing. Are they allowed to party this evening, miss? Really hard. <laughs> <laughs> St George's, ladies and gentlemen, our worthy winners. Congratulations to our winning Senior School Choir of the Year and our thanks to all the choirs for making it such a close final. Don't you agree, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> and that's just about it for this 10th School Choir competition. If you'd like to see and hear all the choir's performances from throughout the competition, as well as some top tips for improving your singing from our celebrity judges and Joe McKeldry, please visit our website, bbc.co.uk slash songs of praise. You knew that already. Our thanks to David Grant, Susie Digby, Russell Watson, and all the choirs today. <laughs> and from all of us here at the Lowry Theatre, goodbye. Next week, Eamon visits the breathtaking Causeway Coast to meet a painter, a novelist and a singer, all inspired by this beautiful landscape. And there's some grand hymn singing from St Killian's College, set in the heart of the Glens of Antrim. Yeah.